The Zagwe dynasty was the ruling dynasty of a medieval kingdom in present day northern Ethiopia. The kingdom itself was perhaps called Bigwena, after the historical name of the Lasta province. Centered at Lalibela, it ruled large parts of the territory from approximately 900 to 1270, when the last Zagwe king Za Ilmanan was killed in battle by the forces of the Abyssinian king Yekuno Amlik. The name of the dynasty is thought to derive from the ancient Ge'ez phrase Zi Aga, meaning, Dynasty of the Aga, in reference to the Aga people that constituted its ruling class. Zagwe's best known king was Gebra Meskel Lalibela, who is credited with having constructed the rock hewn monolithic churches of Lalibela. David Buxton has stated that the area under the direct rule of the Zagwe kings probably embraced the highlands of modern Eritrea and the whole of Tigray, extending southwards to Wag, Lasta, and Damit and thence westwards towards Lake Tana. Unlike the practice of later rulers of Ethiopia, Tades Tamrat argues that under the Zagwe dynasty the order of succession was that of brother succeeding brother as king, based on the Aga laws of inheritance. History Around 960, Queen Gudit destroyed the remnants of the Kingdom of Aksum, causing a shift in its temporal power center that later regrouped more to the south. For 40 years she ruled over what remained of the kingdom, eventually passing on the throne to her descendants. According to other Ethiopian traditional accounts, the last of her dynasty was overthrown by Mara Takla Hamanot in 1137. He married a daughter of the last king of Aksum, Dil Naid, putting control of Ethiopia in Aga hands. Since he married Emperor Dil Naid's daughter, who was a member of the Solomonic dynasty, the Zagwes are technically part of the Solomonic lineage. Emperor Mara Tekla Hamanot's marriage and offspring thereof makes him the only emperor without known ties to the biblical king Solomon and Makeda, the queen of Sheba. Mara Tekla Hamano's ancestry is from Eritrea, in the province called Hamasian. His name starts with Mara or Marera because he came from the place in Hamasian called Fishi Marera. The Zagwe period is still shrouded in mystery, even the number of kings in this dynasty is disputed. Some sources such as the Paris Chronicle, and manuscripts Bruce 88, 91, and 93 give the names of eleven kings who ruled for 354 years, others among them the book Pedro Paez and Manuel de Almeida saw at Aksum list only five who ruled 143. Paul B. Hens reports the existence of at least one list containing 16 names. According to Carlo Conti Rossini, the shorter length of this dynasty was the more likely one. He argues that a letter received by the Patriarch of Alexandria John V shortly before 1150 from an unnamed Ethiopian monarch, in which the Patriarch is asked for a new abuna because the current office holder was too old, was from Mara Takla Hamanot, who wanted the abuna replaced because he would not endorse the new dynasty. The mystery of the Zagwe dynasty is perhaps darkest around its replacement by the revived Solomonic dynasty under Yekuno Amlik. The name of the last Zagwe king is lost. The surviving chronicles and oral traditions give his name as Za Ilmanan, which is clearly a pseudonym Tades Tamrat translates it as, the unknown, the hidden one, employed soon after his reign by the victorious Solomonic rulers in an act of damnatio memoriae. Tades Tamrat believes that this last ruler was actually yet Barak. The end of the Zagwe came when Yekuno Amlik, who proclaimed himself the descendant and rightful heir of Dil Naid, and acting under the guidance of either Saint Tekel Hamanot or Saint Iyasis Moa, pursued the last king of the Zagwe and killed him at the church of Saint Kirkios in Gaint on the north side of the Bashilo River. <laughs> See also Ethiopian aristocratic and court titles Ethiopian historiography History of Ethiopia Kings of Aksum List of emperors of Ethiopia Notes External links Ethiopian history Zagwe genealogy Royal Ark website Tekest Nagash the Zagwe period reinterpreted post Aksumite Ethiopian urban culture. Topic. Further reading In French, Durat, M.L., 2018. 
L'enigma d'une dynastie saint et usurpatrice dans le royaume chrétien d'Ethiopie, Chiezi siècle. Brepolis. ISBN 978-2-503-57908-5.